Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my Sephora VIB sale recommendations video. This is one of my favorite videos to watch and record and it's just kind of like talking with friends about makeup that they love. So grab yourself something to drink, hang out with me and let's get started. I will have another video that is shop with me, kind of my wish list for the Sephora sale and probably a haul try on after that. So I will have a few videos surrounding the Sephora sale just because it's my it's my favorite time of the year, that and Christmas. One more thing I wanted to mention is that I will not include Pat McGrath in here or brands that you can get really good deals separate. Pat McGrath just comes to mind because she usually has 30% off of, you know, lipsticks and eyeshadow palettes and things like that. And I feel like if you're looking for something from Pat McGrath, just wait for a sale for her uh, website. Also, I will try to include newer products. I have so many other Sephora recommendations video, so I don't wanna be super repetitive. So the ones I'm sharing today are the newer ones in my collection. Also, there's timestamps below if you're interested in just one area, but I'm gonna start with skincare, and this is probably the only skincare product that I'm gonna recommend from Sephora. This is Paula's Choice Exfoliate, and this is 2% BHA liquid exfoliant I love this product I'm probably gonna have to stock up on this one um, I think it's an amazing product it really exfoliates my skin it leaves it super nice and bright also my pores look better I love this I actually don't use a cotton ball with this I just kind of pour some in my hands and then tap it into my skin using a cotton ball I feel like I'm wasting a lot of the product and you know, I wanna take care of my products. A lot of my skincare products aren't from Sephora, but this is the one that I think, honestly, anybody could enjoy. So that is my skincare product. And I guess I could put this one here. This is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. It's not a skincare, but it's a lip mask. You can put it as um, lip gloss, I guess, on top. I use it at night and this lasts me forever. I only use this at night because, I don't know, it's in my bathroom, uh, not in my makeup room. However, probably I should grab a smaller one or another one for the makeup room. That way I would probably use it day to day as well. I really just love how moisturizing this is. I never have dry lips or cracked lips. So yeah, this is an amazing product. I do have a few perfumes in general. Perfumes are just so expensive. So I wanted to mention a few that I really like and they're good for like, I know, fall, winter. Uh, the first one is probably the most popular one. This is Kayali Vanilla 28 and I don't love vanilla. I'm not a super vanilla girl, but this made me love vanilla. It is such a beautiful, just straight up vanilla pretty much, but it's not sickening. It's not too sweet. It's not too gourmand. It's, it's just so well balanced and on the skin, it it just wears so well. It's also a great layering perfume. I love this so much. I layer this with more masculine fragrances as well. I have uh, Initio Oud of Greatness and those two combine and make such a beautiful, just slightly more feminine scent. Um, so this, I think anybody would love this. Also, um, the darker the juice, the better it gets. So the longer you have it, I think it, it just gets better. The next one for me is like one of my go-to winter fragrances. This is Killian Angel Share. And you know, I'm more than halfway gone with this. And it kind of scares me <laughs> because this is not a cheap perfume, but oh, it's, it's sweet, but it's boozy at the same time. I feel very just not necessarily rich, but I feel kind of like old money when I wear this. Like I'm in a lounge area and it's cold outside and I'm cozy inside drinking a uh, bourbon or something. It's it's fabulous and it's great for winter. I think in the summer it can be a little bit sickening, um, but I get so many compliments with this and my dad loves this one on me. He smelled, last time he was here, smelled so many different perfumes and this was his favorite and he, he's he got good taste. He's, 
he's bougie with his taste. Now the next one is one that I don't think I've ever mentioned on my channel and in general I'm not the biggest Chanel fragrance fan. I don't know what about the brand it's just kind of like they all smell similar to me and the DNA it's it's not that I don't like it, it's just everywhere. So everybody kind of knows that you're wearing Chanel number no. five or Mademoiselle or, I don't know, to me it's a very common, um, but this one is the only one that I have and I really do like it, Chanel Coco Noir. I, I think it's just a little bit, on a note, it's a little bit more fresh, um, but at the same time it has that bourbon vanilla that kind of becomes a little bit more sensual and maybe a little bit more playful than the regular, you know, Chanel Coco Noir, Coco, I guess. Um, so I really enjoy this one on my skin. It's less noticeable that it is a Chanel fragrance than the other ones, which I like. I also love the bottle. And so, yeah, this is the only Chanel fragrance that I have in my collection. I even went to their private selection and kind of tested a lot of them. And even though I enjoyed them, they weren't my favorite, but this one, I probably will always have this in my collection. I think it's a beautiful scent. Okay. Two primers. I have here, well, actually just one primer and one setting spray. Um, the Glowish from Huda Beauty. I've talked about this a lot. I wanted to put my Tom Ford Poreless Primer as well, but I feel like I've talked about that in every single video, but this is another great one. And then the one setting spray that I've discovered this year and completely fell in love is the Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. This gives you kind of moisture and it melts in your makeup, but it also sets it. Like it's, my makeup stays all day with this product. I don't love the actual packaging, but I love the mist. It is like, you can't even see anything because it's that fine. So I love this one. There's something though about when I inhale it, maybe a coconutty or something that I'm like, oh, like I, I don't want to inhale this. It's not chemical, but there's something in this that I don't want to inhale. So that's the one negative that I have about this. I kind of wish there was no fragrance and I just had basic one, but uh, that's just a personal thing. I've never heard anybody complain about that. But for me personally, I don't want to inhale this after I spray it. Like I don't want to talk after I've sprayed it all over my face. Let's move on to foundations. Now I have so many foundations that I love and I'm not gonna repeat the ones that I've already talked in previous videos, uh, like my Makeup Forever, you guys know it. It's just so many that I love, but these are the ones that I've discovered or have been wearing a lot this year. Uh, I'm gonna start with a new one this year. This is the Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint I love this. This is kind of like your skin, but better. It has light coverage, light to medium at best. So this isn't like a medium skin tint, which is why I love it so much. It is a skin tint. And I want to wear something like this daily. I don't love having a lot of foundation and I just don't, I just want my skin to show through. I want my freckle, freckles to show an imperfection, but they just kind of evens it out. It's very moisturizing. It has a glow to it. For me with kind of normal to dry skin, now it's getting colder. So my skin will get drier and drier. This is perfect. I absolutely adore this product. So if you have just normal to dry skin, I think you would love it. If you have oily skin, mm, I don't I don't think you, you're gonna love this. I think it'll work against you. Another one that I really enjoy, uh, it says it's a skin tint, but it is not. <laughs> this is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin uh, Serum Skin Tint, but this is fuller coverage. I feel like I get a medium coverage from first application and even medium to full once I like layer it a little bit. I don't love this layered. Um, it just gets a little bit too much for me. But if I want decent coverage and I want an easy way to apply it, I will go for this one. It's really, really beautiful. It doesn't have a glow like the Hourglass. So I think this would work even for people that have more oilier skin because it doesn't have that super intense glow. Um, also you get a ton of product, 1.58 ounces. Yeah, 
I like it. It's a solid, solid, good, I would call it a foundation, not a skin tint. Now, three foundations that I really like. One that's not new, but I've been picking it up a lot this year. This is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. If you want a fuller coverage foundation that feels like nothing, looks so perfecting on the skin, this this is so good. Um, again, this I've tried, I think last year, is that when it came out? But this past, I wanna say four to five months, I've been reaching for this over and over again. I even combine it with a skin tint if I want less coverage. I, I adore this foundation. The color I have is 6.5, but I think I'm gonna pick up the color six in the sale, maybe. I don't know if I should because I have so many foundations, but I feel like six would be an even better match. But this is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. It's not too glowy. It's not matte. It's just such a beautiful natural radiance in it. You know, it's not wet on the skin. It sets really well. It lasts all day and it gives amazing coverage with such a natural feel on the skin. So this is an amazing one. And then the other one that I'm wearing today is the Guerlain Terracotta. Yeah, Le Tent. Uh, I've used, look how much I've used of this one. I think it's down, like it's almost halfway down. I kind of shook it, so I can't really tell you, but yeah, I think it's like all the way here, which is crazy for me because I have a ton of foundations and I mainly wear skin tints or, I don't know, tinted SPF. This to me works so well on my skin. It looks extremely perfected. It's light on the skin. It is a beautiful natural finish. I love the coverage. This and my skin are made for each other, okay? so. This is one of the most beautiful foundations and perfecting that I have in my collection. Um, long lasting, it's just perfect for me. I know not everybody loves it, but I think it is such a beautiful foundation. Also, it has a nice packaging. You feel solid, glass, um, same with Hourglass. I think this um, Guerlain, I think they advertise this as, no, it's a healthy glow. Okay, I was like, this is not a matte foundation. I think the Hourglass is a little bit more natural on the skin. This one has a little bit more glow on it. I mean, look at my skin. I feel like it looks so good and healthy and I don't know, I just really, really like it. It works well for my skin. Let's move on to concealers. I have three different concealers that I wanna share with you. The first one is the newest one that I've tried. This is the YSL All Hours Precise Angler, Angler <laughs> Concealer. Uh, and usually I don't recommend things that I've kind of just tried for like two, three weeks, but this one, it's been my go-to ever since I bought it. There's something about it that looks so natural on the skin. It gives, I would say, medium buildable coverage, but it, it looks like I have nothing on uh, under my eyes, but covers so well. I, I don't know what they've done with this, but I am in love. It is very, very thin, but it's not that thin that will break up on me. And it just blends in like a dream. I, I find this a very natural concealer under my eyes that has good coverage, but it's not it's not heavy whatsoever. It's un undetectable under my eyes. The next concealer is this one from Tower 28. The second I applied this in store, I fell in love. I got three shades that day because I just loved it so much. Um, this is a serum concealer. It's it's not extremely light. I feel like it's not quite as light as the YSL on the skin, the, but it is very moisturizing, kind of serum-y, and there's just something so special about this. This blends in like none other concealer that I have. It has a creaminess to it. Let me swatch it. Um, it's serum-y, but it, it's more creamy than the YSL, for example, and it has much more moisture um, in it. It is also great even if I don't set it, which is kind of shocking for how like moisturizing and kind of radiant this is. 
I also love this one all over the face just by itself. I think it is so beautiful, which is why I have three different shades of it. I love it. Again, if you have more dry under eyes, this is a great one. It has really good coverage. Um, I was expecting Tower 28 to maybe come out with very light coverage, but no, this definitely covers my under eyes and it just smooths out everything. It's quite blurring. It's a beautiful concealer. Uh, and the last one I want to talk about is the Gucci concealer. I love this one as well. This one is a little bit more, I don't want to say drying under the eyes, but it has more of a natural finish rather than um, the Tower 28. It's not it's still not that super matte finish. Um, it's lighter in texture, which is surprising because when I when I thought thought of Tower 28 serum, I thought, okay, that's going to be what, like the lightest texture under the eye. This is thinner. Thinner is better word than light. It's just thin under the eyes. It's actually what I'm wearing today. Uh, again, I have two colors of this. I have the 27 that it's great for just kind of like all over. And under my eyes, I'm wearing the 24N. So these are the three concealers that I just have fallen in love this year. Moving on, powders. I mean, the only two that I've still use all the time is the Givenchy um, powder that I've talked about this before and then my Makeup Forever powder then again I talked about this for years so these are the two powders that I reach for over and over I kind of like the puff thing under my eyes it's very blurring um, the Givenchy gives a little bit more blur and just more perfecting the Makeup Forever HD is more like a no powder powder it's extremely undetectable so these are the two powders that i would i would recommend for bronzer and contour honestly there's not any new ones that i'm like falling in love you know my tom ford shade and illuminate is still a favorite i still pick this one up every time i'm unsure of what to use i love the highlighter as well i love um the contour obviously more again we're still praying that they're bringing out the contour just by itself. It's just such a good product. This will always be in my collection. Um, and my Makeup Forever little, what are these called? Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I have here two colors, the medium that I'm almost hitting pan and then the light medium that I've hit pan already. But since I've bought the medium, I feel like I've been reaching for the medium so much more that I haven't reached for uh, the light medium. This is a great almost contouring shade on me. And then this is just kind of an all over bronze. You guys know how much I adore these. They're probably one of those products that I will forever have in my collection and it's quite unique. You know what? I'm going to mention these because I've had these in my collection for a long time, but only recently have I pulled them back out and I completely fell in love. These are the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Glow Bronzer. Um, I have the light and the medium. The medium is probably the best one for me. Um, wait, is that the medium? No, that's fair. I was like, wait, that's a little gray. This is the color medium. Um, I like this as a bronzer. The color Fair is great for contouring. But the way this blends on the skin, wow. I just, I guess I somehow forgot about them. This is Fair and Medium, obviously a heavy swatch. Um, but the way these blend on the skin, they're so easy. They're not a very emollient. They're almost kind of putty-like feel. Um, and they dry down pretty matte on the skin. So even if you have oilier skin, I think you would enjoy this. And even if you're not a cream person, um, I think you would probably really, really enjoy these. Blushes. Oh, I had to really reduce my blushes that I was going to talk about. So I decided on three formulas. First one is the Givenchy Loose Blush. Uh, my favorite is the shade 4. I also have the shade one, um, I love these. I know a lot of people think that, oh, because they're loose, they're going to be really messy. I have no problem. I keep this on and then there's no product just hanging out <laughs> everywhere. So if you keep the puff on, I think they're great. I love the way these blend on the skin. I love that they're not that super matte chalky feel. If anything, it just gives 
a blurring effect, kind of like the powder, you know, the, the way the powder makes your under eye look, this is how the blush makes my blush look or my cheeks. Very blurring yet a beautiful color. There's slight uh, luminosity to them without being glowy absolutely love this formula and I didn't think I would love it so much just because the packaging I would say it's kind of inconvenient but honestly I have no issues with messiness or anything like that as long as I keep the puff in there the next blush is <sighs> Valentino actually during the sale I want another color of this this one is an O2 and I adore it. Every time I wear this blush, I feel so healthy, radiant. I love the color. Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? And I'm not a huge, like, super bright pink girl, but this works so well. There is, like, radiance to it, and it's so beautiful. When I went to New York, they had um, Valentino display, so I swatched a few other colors, and I think the color... Was it six, five or six? It was like a peachy one that looked so incredible. So this formula, I think is one of the prettiest powder formula that I've ever tried. Yeah, that's a Valentino. And the last one, I just had to. I had to put my makeup uh, by Mario. Cream blushes. I have, oh, I can't open this. Um, five colors, I think. Yes, I have five colors. You can't go wrong with any of them. I think the perfect pink, it, actually it's not my most used one. You know what the one that's most used? It is the Rose Crush, which is the one I almost didn't pick up. But this is probably my most used color from them. It just works so well with any um, makeup look. Even if I'm doing a more cool tone or a warmer tone, this just works. So this was the one that I almost didn't pick up because I thought, I guess it was kind of boring. It's probably my most used one and the perfect pink. These two are the two that I just really, really like. Um, and the way the skin enhancer looks on the skin, these are as well. However, I think these are more pigmented than the skin enhancer. The formula is and the texture is exactly the same. But these last so well so well i actually put these on my lips as well um very impressed with this just you can't go wrong with them now the one thing that i really think people should think about getting <laughs> i'm not going to tell you that you have to buy this but if you've been looking for a good hourglass palette this year's palettes i think they're the best that they ever come with uh, with i have two other holiday collections um, but these two this one is the jellyfish and then I have the snake with just different packaging but on our glass website you can customize I do have a 10% off coupon with them I think it's just Tanya but our glass if you're a rouge you can get 20% off of these which is quite a lot of money but you can't customize the outside so this inside would be the snake palette um, and this lightest one would be the jellyfish, but I've done so many reviews on this. I've used them so many times in reels. I love them. I still use them all the time. I took them with me in New York. They've been very well loved. If you think snake, oh, it's so dark. I think I use this more than I use the lighter one, just so you know. I think the colors are just beautiful. Let's add just a little bit more of this blush right here. It's glowy, but it just gives such, oh, just such a beautiful finish to the skin. I'm, I'm careful, you know, I'm not gonna go crazy with application, but mm, I love these. Okay, moving on. Let's see here. Do we have any other blush? Oh, I do have a highlighter. Um, I just have to mention my Westman Atelier Pot de Peche. I just have to, I still use it, even though online I don't use it as much. I still use it all the time and I am baffled that I haven't hit paint. Actually, it's almost there. There's just something about this product. Look at that. I've tried the Westman Atelier drops. They don't compare to this. Like they're nice, but this is just still, still the best in my, in my opinion. I. 
I can't get enough of this. I have all the colors that they came out with and I think it is absolutely an investment, but if you can get 20% off or even 15, just try it. The color looks quite deep, um, but don't be intimidated. It's not meant to be this super intense highlighter. It's kind of like a blush topper skin enhancer thing. Yeah, moving on. Another highlighter that I really do love are the Rare Beauty highlighters. Oh, here it is. The Mesmerize is the one I had on before I put this. It is extremely intense. If you are into really intense highlighters, look no further. This is for you. I also like the price point, you know, compared to was Mantilla, which I don't even know how much that is. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. So here you have Exhilarate and then Mesmerize. I love Mesmerize. There's something about it that works so well on the skin. It melts in. I have to be extremely careful because I'm not somebody that loves super intense highlighters, but I keep pulling this out and playing with it just because I love the way it melts into my skin, even though it's super intense. I still wear it. I get take like a fluffy brush. This is a refer brush and just use that. Take some off and then I go in. These are so beautiful. Melt into your skin and yeah, something special. Moving to the eyeshadows. I have only three different formulas that I want to talk about. First one is this one that is older, but it came back. The Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes. I adore this palette. Again, I took it to New York with me. I took it to the beach with me. I always pack this one just because it's such a good everyday palette. You have beautiful shimmers slash toppers. The mattes are so good. I think this needs to be permanent. I think any everybody should try this. Um, and it has a beautiful dirty mirror, <laughs> but I always use the mirror to kind of clean my brush. I know it's kind of weird. This is just a must. I don't know who would dislike this palette. It's not too cool tone. It's not too warm. It's just such a good go-to. And this color right here, so, so good. Um, but if you can't get that, I know in UK, um, it's just very expensive to purchase. Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude palette came out and it's so good. Again, I have videos on all of these. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but if you are looking into a beautiful kind of nude slash taupey cool tone-ish, this is not too cool tone though. Um, this, this is a great one that was released from Natasha Denona and I want to say that this is my favorite from her. I really like my Biba palette. I mean, I feel like that will always be my collection. But for a meaty palette, this is it. It has an incredible shimmers. Look at these. Oh, it, they're just so many different textures. The colors are beautiful. And I think I think this is a great buy with 20% off. And the last formula that I want to talk about is newer to me. These are the YSL Mini Clutch eyeshadow palettes. I bought them in New York, so it's not like I have them for forever, but uh, I've been really wearing them so much just because I've been wanting to test these out before I recommend them to you. Uh, I have here the color 100 and 300, both super beautiful. The 100, I want to say it's going to be probably the most popular one. Just look at this. Oh, the, the mattes are so buttery. This is just silk, silk. I had an issue and I talked about this in my video that in New York, I felt like they were fading a little bit too quickly. I came to Tennessee back home. I've never had that issue. At the end of the day, they still looked so beautiful. So it might have been either the foundation that I was using underneath, I think I was testing some other products there, or uh, the fact that I was running around all day in the wind. Um, oh no, I just stabbed my nail in there, guys. This, I wanna cry. I'll put it back and just squish it down. I truly am so clumsy. I don't know how Andrew manages <laughs> to uh, put up with me because I am, I drop everything. I Anyway, uh, that's the topper right there. It's a warmer topper. This is from the 
300 see i just squished it back in there it's so creamy that you can just squish it back but i just stab my nail in it um and i i i would say that this is the most basic palette it's not too warm i thought maybe surely it's going to be so warm because of that brown right there but it's not i think it's a beautiful everyday palette leaning a little bit warm so i absolutely recommend this formula i will be picking up the rose color as well um and 20 percent off sounds sounds great to me the one mascara that i really love is the huda one coat mascara it's the one i'm wearing right now and it's truly one coat kind of mascara if i overuse it it can get a little heavy but with one coat it's perfection again i have a video on this uh, but i really really love it i don't put it on my lower lashes i only put them on my top lashes and it's been my go-to i get so many questions about my lashes and this has been the one that i've been reaching for over and over again i think it gives really nice big lashes now moving on to the lip category which is my all-time favorite let me scooch all, all of these over starting off with lip liners these are the three that i've been reaching for a lot and i think they're so good anastasia beverly hills cool brown this is what i'm wearing today under a different lip product i love the formula it's a very long lasting i also have another color this one right here deep taupe i really like this one as well but since fall i've been reaching for the cool taupe right there uh no cool brown <laughs> These are very long lasting, which is probably my most important thing in lip liners. I care for them to last a long time. Colors obviously are very important. Um, they're not the most creamy, buttery feel lip liners, but I don't like those kind of lip liners. So I really enjoy those. Makeup by Mario make a great ones as well. This one right here is a really nice color, smoky pink. And then I have the color Toasty toasty right here i feel like they look very very similar um i also really enjoy the formula another thing that i really need from a lip liner is if i want to cheat my shape i don't want it to be very noticeable and the more matte lip liners that don't have any sheen to them i can contour and kind of shape my lips so much better than something that's extra creamy that has a sheen to them because then you're gonna like the light will reflect off of the lip liner if it's too sheen. I hope I'm making sense. And then the last formula that I really have been loving this year and discovering is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Crayon. These are a little creamier than the other ones, but for some reason, they are so long lasting. Once these set down, they do not budge you know even if you try to blend it out you have to put it on blend it real quick and then they set if i try to blend it out after they set they they don't move you know that could be a negative for some people if you take too long uh but for me it's it's like the, the, the most important like i mentioned uh, for these to last the top one is probably my most used one is the color leon 2.5 it's just a little bit more brownie and then the other one is kind of my lip spread better uh np 0.5 i have two liquid lip formulas from uh, sephora i you know i love so many other ones but there aren't at sephora but these two the rose ink and the tom ford one have been kind of on my rotation like always reaching for them the tom ford is the most bougie one of course it's tom ford however it is the most unique formula out of all my liquid lipsticks honestly they are undetectable on the lips truly you cannot feel them on the lips which is incredible they also last a long time once they dry down they're there you know um, if i eat super oily stuff any lipstick that i have will kind of wear but th this will last the best kind of out of all the other ones the lisa eldridge as well but the lisa eldridge is a little bit more drying than this one this is just like nothing on the lips there's something unique they do dry down they become transfer proof and yeah they are very very comfortable um and then the other formula is different this is more of a whipped formula kind of creamy they don't i don't want to say they don't set down they're more kind of like that blurry look um 
So you definitely feel them on the lips a little bit more, but look, when I blend it out, it kind of gives that blur effect to the lip. And I think it is so, so beautiful. They never become completely dry. Um, so there's a little bit of transfer, like very little, but somehow even after there's a little transfer, the color's still there. So because it's a little more whipped and uh, I wanna say a little thicker than, well, a lot thicker than the Tom Ford one, that one's just like nothing. Um, this tends to have layers to it. So even if you transfer a little bit, again, it's a little bit, it's nothing bad you still have um, color underneath. I, honestly, I think these were my most used during the summertime. I really like that blurred effect and the rosing did it for me. Now, I still love my Gucci lipsticks. These are kind of like a little gem for me. I adore the formula. I adore the colors. I only have two and I'm thinking of picking another shade from the sale. The Painted Veil is probably the most popular one. These are matte but extremely moisturizing. I don't know how they did it. They're thicker on the lip but they're very moisturizing but they they're, they're have that matte finish. Almost velvety feel and then the coral beige is kind of a very nudie color but i love to combine these two i don't know it's 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 just one of my favorite combos that i have i'm actually thinking of doing um november like everyday lip combo so do a reel with whatever lip combo i'm wearing that day and share it with you because it seems like there's so many questions about what my lip combo is so i thought mm, maybe i should do that but um yeah these are very expensive but i think if you can get them 20 15 10 percent off it's worth the splurge it's something special the packaging is very unique and the formula to me is probably the best matte lipstick formula not liquid lipstick but it's a lipstick they're not too drying a very rich pigment and beautiful colors another one that i did want to mention that's new to me is the Colfi. this is more of a satin lipstick and i really enjoy the color so much look at that color i feel like that's like the most perfect brownie slash tiny bit of coolness in it the writing is extremely small. I cannot read this. This is where I feel like I'm getting so old. I can't, I can't read that, but it's the browner one. I'll link it down below. Um, I really like the formula. The color is beautiful, the way it sits on the lips. Um, it's just a good everyday lipstick. Um, I also really like the Patrick Ta lipsticks and he came out with a lot of new colors. I have She's Oh, She's Single, which has been my favorite for a long time um, it's a little bit more of that kind of peachy brownie color but blushing is the new shade and i love it and i think a lot of people will enjoy this color it's very flattering because it's a little bit more of that pinky rosy color but it's not too pink it's just a good nude pink uh, the formula again is so so good for a matte formula to be this kind of moisturizing pigmented and not drying on the lips there's something special check these out i think patrick todd does fabulous lip products. And the last thing I want to mention is the Summer Friday lip gloss balm, whatever. They, I think they call these a balm, but to me they're like, they're glossy. I love all these shades. I want more shades. I saw that they have a travel quad for mini lip balms. And I think the only one that I have is the vanilla from that one, but I would love to have a smaller one and just put it in my purse. There's something special about this formula. It's super glossy. I don't necessarily wear these for moisturizing purposes. I'm gonna put the cherry one on top, or no, this is the poppy. And I'll just show you just how glossy it makes my lips look. I love it. I only add it in the center. Every time I wear one of these, I get a comment on my stories. Like mostly if I wear the pink one by itself, they're like, oh my gosh, what's on your lips? It's so beautiful. It's just the lip, the pink one by itself. I know these are super popular and I think there's a reason for them. I want more. 
I am slightly addicted to them. I, even when I want to wear a full matte lip, and if I have this on my purse, I'll just pop it on um, because it's not sticky. It's not sticky at all. Um, it's a very glossy, very kind of perfecting. It gets into all those creases in, creases in your lips and just plumps them out fabulous product. And that is everything for today. Wow, I have talked so much. I've like my whole table is full of products. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Also, I have everything linked down below. And if you want to use my links, that will help me so much. That's how we make money on YouTube. We make commission, a small commission out of whatever you purchase. However, do not purchase. If you don't need stuff, do not just get them because I recommended them. Um, but if you do intend to shop, you can use my links or find a creator that you really enjoy and support them by using the links it costs you nothing. You pay the exact same amount. It just helps us out. So thank you for your continuous support, even when I'm kind of MIA. I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.